Hello everybody! Hello you ghouls and goblins and witches and all you! Welcome to my first spooky video of 2022! That's right, I'm starting back up my spooky Saturdays video even though I missed last Saturday. I was a little distracted, there was a hurricane and all that. Um, but I'm starting today with an oldie but a goodie, I guess. Amnesia. I don't know where I've put my cam. <laughs> Amnesia. Um, so I've got like a lot of nervous energy because I genuinely am scared of this game. <laughs> I gotta calm down. I should have made a cup of coffee. Look at my, look at my boo mug. I've been drinking them that I got from Target. <laughs> It's helped me get in the spooking season. So if you're like new to my channel, you this is your first spooky video. Uh, every October, I film some Halloween themed videos for fun. I try to make them as relaxing as possible. So I don't think there'll be any like jump scares. I'll edit the volume down to be like way lower, and I'm gonna be talking quietly or whispering like the whole time. So, for those of you who, like, want a, an, like, a chill horror game, I guess my videos might be a good way to do it because I won't, um, scream or anything like that, so, I don't know. For those of you who really don't like the horror games and you won't even be watching past, like, this point, uh, if you're still watching, I will be doing other Halloween-themed videos this month that aren't on Saturdays. That will be more your speed. Like, I have a really cute little uh, witchy game that I'm gonna be playing uh, in just a few days. I'm just paranoid. Let me make sure this is all recording okay because I was having some trouble. It's a really old game and it wasn't, the resolution wasn't right for like, I had to, I had to put it down to like 1920 by 1080. It wouldn't work any other way. Oh, and last but not least, I've got on my Kiki's Delivery Service shirt. So I have a, a witch on my shirt, but alright, I've got my face cam so you can see my glorious, horrible reactions as I react very strongly to things. That's why I don't like doing face cams. It's a disaster. Oh gosh, let's just get into this. Let's just do this, okay? Just do it, Allison. Just do it. Starting again. Yeah, start the new game. The I can already say. Oh, I should say I've pl I played this game years and years and years ago, back when it was really popular. I think PewDiePie made it really popular, and I actually used to watch him play it, um, which made me want to play it. It's like cat yeah, hair all over my face. Um, but it's been so long. I don't remember any of the plot other than you've lost your memory because your name's Daniel and you have to find a guy. Uh, I don't think I was really paying attention to the plot the first time I played this, to be honest. I think I just wanted to get spooked. Um, I will say, I will uh, be honest with you, I played it yesterday as research because I was so nervous about playing this, I wanted to make sure I knew roughly what I was doing so I didn't get like really freaked out and like waste all my time doing whatever. And then also that way I would know where there are scares and stuff so that I could have a better handle on things for you guys. Uh, so hopefully I know what I'm doing. If you can't tell, I have turned the brightness up quite a bit. Uh, it's not so much. Oh gosh, I hate this like blurry effect. It's not so much for me, although it's a little bit for me. It's more because whenever I, that's yeah, you gotta open the doors by like physically moving the mouse. I find that so annoying. Um, I think you picked this up. I missed that when I was playing yesterday. Um, my editing software always darkens everything. It makes it really dark. So, I, if I play a scary game that's dark, 
and that stuff can be real dark so I brightened it quite a bit I should I'm supposed to be following this um, pink stuff I don't know what it is it, it's very pink it looks like Pepto-Bismol, I'll be honest so we're just gonna follow the trail of Pepto-Bismol everybody and every now and then random things like that happen where doors just get open and it's just so rude it's like where did that breeze come from because there's literally no windows or anything in here so because this is a very casual very chill very relaxed playthrough i am not gonna be stopping to pick up everything open i'm opening stuff right now i'm picking up some tinder boxes but i probably will calm down with that um in a bit i probably just won't care too much about getting like every single thing um so i gotta be honest i remember the game what is happening right now why are we rolling around on the floor i don't I remember the game looking this bad and I played it. Let's see, I think I played in about 2014. I don't know what year this came out, but I played it in 2014. It's dark in here. Oh, that's another thing. It's like you can't go in the dark. If you, the longer you spend in the dark, the more freaked out you get and you can see your health and your sanity here. Oh, can I actually open that? I, I can. I wonder if I can get in. Don't mind me, I'm just a little little boy in a box. Um oh, got very dark. And then I think that was meant to be like a tutorial. I'm not gonna bother but yeah, to explain to you that. Don't go in the dark, you get scared. Just follow the trail of Pepto Bismol. And it'll all be good. We're going to the old archives. The other children cheered him on. His spit name, Poiston, and a steadily rising pace urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. It's not very nice. Follow the Pepto Bismol. Follow the Pepto Bismol. I feel like I'm spending too much time in the dark. Where's some light? I need some light. I think my character's freaking out a little bit. Yeah, my sanity has gone from all that I do. You have a slight headache. Not good. Um, but in here, I believe, is where you get a little lantern boy. Lantern boy, the lantern boy. What? Where is all this wind coming from? But I don't think I have any oil. So, how indeed am I meant to. Oh, wait. I didn't see there's a chest right here. There's no oil in it. Oh, there was already oil in this bad boy. Alright. Pep the Bismol Trail door opens that way, goes in there. Seems like it's bright enough in here. Like I should be okay. Daniel's got a bad case of the shakes or something. I keep shaking. Um, tinder box, tinder box. I think we're meant to pick up this note. Daniel slipped us a note. I wish I could ask you how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brennenberg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is all that weak. 
Is this just a dead end? No, I think I see a this stuff I can pick up. I see a secret lever. Pull the lever, wrong, wrong lever. Ooh. Yo, if you guys have like a bug fear, this is not a game for you. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. I do not care for Turkish delights. That book, film, whatever, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, they really made out like that stuff was going to be so good. And I was so disappointed when I tried it. I didn't like it at all. Um, I don't believe I have. This is the Africa el Equatoria. Ooh, my. I don't like this. It's tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hands or tools. Well, it's yucky, and so I'm going to leave. Gross. Um, I'm not even going to bother going that way because the door is definitely locked. Actually, there might be some stuff around here, so I will go this way. Like some oil. That's good stuff. Oh, don't look at the box. Not gonna look at the box for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be locked. Ew. That was unnecessary. Just say it's locked. <sighs> really gross. Okay. Uh, I could go up the stairs, but I think I need to go down this way, there's the wine cellar and the laboratory. The wine cellar is locked and it will not open without a key. So the lab it is, which already sounds creepy. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears are beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be finished. Punished? What is what is this? What? What is this? Is it a flashback? Is this Daniel? Yes, I see the cave in. Sometimes the game like forces you to. What do I hear? I'm gonna light a thing. Um, I heard like a voice. Oh. Nope, that's not one you can pick up. Okay, I'm confused. This is one you can open. These are things that you just pick up. I remember there being... Uh, oh. I remember there being bits in the water where you have to run through the water. There should be more. I'm going to stand in the light while we do this for my mental health. For your health. Are that it? Are we done? How is our health doing, by the way? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Okay, look into the light. Look into the light. Okay. Our Daniel's health is not doing good. Oh dear. Oh, Daniel. Bless your heart. So there's some sort of uh, thing here. A lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my last staple ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, and many are stained by the fumes. It won't be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Well, we tried to go to the wine cellar, and the wine cellar was. This is my third attempt to produce artificial fidei. The former compounds lacked the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the cup right binds them well. This time I will. 
So we're gonna need to get calamine, orpiment, cuprite, and aqua regia. Aqua regia. And I found a chemistry pot. Now you can open these. Look at that. Good job. Nope. Nope. What the heck is that? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lost their power without restraint. I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. What are you on about? Hey, look at that. It was hidden. What the heck are they on about, huh? I feel like Daniel's mental health is really taking a beating or something, but I don't know how to improve it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look around or something. I think we're done here. Go back upstairs, and I'll go up upstairs this time. Back to the entrance hall, and then traveling to Dover and going through Canterbury, he made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. So we have family in Canterbury. I don't like when you just randomly hear voices and all that. When I was playing yesterday, I didn't play that much, and also I didn't, <laughs> I didn't play with headphones on. Which made me so brave, you know? Playing it in, in bright day and that looks blocked. Let's go to the archives. Uh, and you can't hear anything. Door slam shut behind him. And he knew he'd never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square, another lone soul in London. Seemed appropriate somehow. How is all this connected? I'm so confused. Okay, this has a very, very different vibe to the place where we just were. Rare books. It's a very, very small room. Oh, there's a note on the desk. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tininan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we saw, and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the Museum. I've been to the British Museum. Fun place. Very classic that the English guy wants to steal stuff from Africa to take back to the British Museum. <laughs> I mean, that is something people do in all the museums. I feel like they should maybe light some stuff here. Hmm, which way should I go? Ooh, I don't like this hallway. I, I remember something about this hallway from when I played years and years ago. And I won't say. I don't want to spoil anything. I won't spoil anything. Move. Hey, Tinderbox. It's hard to tell how dark things are, like what is what is considered dark because the brightness is so uh, turned up for me. But I fear I'm using my lantern too much. I said I wasn't gonna be rooting around. I'll just get the notes and I'll leave. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for a fear that my memory will fail me. Some men have ventured into the dark ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men are superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. Alright, Daniel, maybe your language. 
which is considered strange. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. A twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them which haunts me still. At the end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Daniel. Oh, whoops. Is there any light so I can... I just ran out of oil. I do have... I do have more. I think I prefer to come a little bit spooked just then. I think I have so many of these tinder boxes I should probably Oh oil. Should probably try to get them. Okay, I don't think there was really anything of use in here. Probably a waste of my tinder box, but that's okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's locked. Okay. Oh, okay, and this leads back out into here. If I touch that piano, there's gonna be like a jump scare, I just know it. I don't know if I were Daniel, if this were all happening to me. Realistically, I think I'd be trying to construct a ladder or, you know, some something and climb out or break a window and run away like I know that I've tasked my, my, my past self's tasked my f present self with, um, with a, this, um, mission to kill someone, but I can't remember it, which seems like a blessing right now. Uh, so, I would just be getting, I just want to get out. I just want to get out. East Wing and the Western Hall. That looks much, much smaller than than what we're in. Is that really part of this place? About a chest, yeah. Classic. Stick a little chest. Two tinder boxes. Two tinder boxes and oil. I should probably refill the oil in my lantern, though. Let's see. All right. I didn't like that noise. That was a scary noise. All right, is this another... I thought this was going to be another note, but we've just suddenly collapsed. Okay, this is after the cave-in. What's going on? Daniel, what is happening right now? I see it too. pushing me. The mouse is like, see? <laughs> Constantly, it's like, no, stay on path. No dilly-dallying. Do I touch it? I don't want to touch it, but I think I have to. I have seen enough Indiana Jones now, you just don't just touch mysterious objects and artifacts that you find in tombs. Scooby Doo teaches you that too. Okay, and now we've gotten out miraculously. 
what are these little what's with the little blue glowy I hear piano music alright I believe this is the way we need to go fragile but not breakable by hand alright speak for yourself but I bet I can throw Oh, I don't like how dark this room is. It's creepy. You have to be mm, it's creepy. When you the first one. You hear it's very dark. If it stops, maybe I can... Maybe there's something I can, like, light. Yeah, I'll light this. You can never be too careful, oh, maybe I should have lit that one. There's a note in there. Can I... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to break that one. I might as well. be the same door. Hello, hello, hello. I must be missing one. Hello. <laughs> Look at that Scooby Doo Club. I bet that's the key for the wine cellar. Things. It's not nice regarding the closing of the wine cellar. It's going to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid investigation. So hold on a second. Are there people locked in this wine cellar? Oh dear. Either they leave or they will stop. That makes me think, hey, don't go in the wine cellar. So yeah, my thought is the wine cellar is either as angry... Oh, that door's open now. I didn't unlock it. Either I can probably go out this way, it's probably faster. Um... I feel like I saw something move. I but I have to go that way. Uh, yeah, let's just you know what these trees look lovely. Let's just go play in the forest instead. Wait, not that forest, not the not the other horror game, the forest. Stop, stop doing these creepy noises. I heard a creepy monster sound, and then I heard the piano playing. We are GTF Owen. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed out on the brim of his hat to he braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. What are these?
all seen this disgusting girl. Ah, no, 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 no. Is my health okay? It says all is good, but I saw, you know, flashes of like, typically that sort of like indicator on your UI is you've been hurt. Um, I like how my instinct, my reaction to getting hurt in this game is like physically shield myself from the damage. No, stop. You can't hurt me. Thing on my computer screen. I also have a tendency to like lean back away from it. Like the further I am from the the danger, the better. All right, let's go into this wine cellar that I really, really, really don't want to go in. Are there gonna be zombies in this thing? It was done. The men said the gym had been revealed. Denon awaits. What? I didn't finish reading that. Oh, it's dark in here and I don't like it. It's dark and spooky. There's an actual map. So, that seemed to be the men that were locked in here. Well, that was quite easy. Somehow the door is shut now, and I didn't shut it. He hello? Is there anyone here? If there's any monsters here, legally, you have to tell me. Otherwise, it's entrapment. Oh, I don't like those sounds. I don't like those sounds. I'm, I'm gonna shut it this time. I'm gonna shut it. Fine, I'm just using all of my stuff. What is that? Calamine. <laughs> this thing falling left and right. <laughs> you know what's funny is I just did some of this yesterday and yet I still managing to get scared. I think that's quite and I just I just lit this. I lit two things, so that was a complete waste of my tinder boxes. What oh well, at least I'm gonna recoup my one of my tinder boxes. Okay, great. I've got to move this thing now. I don't actually know how to do this. I feel like this is very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. I'm just sort of directly underneath a giant heavy beam. Coming down, sort of. Okay. There we go. Let's get you out of the way. I'm very strong that I can move this. Can I move this? But can you move? And then I can get out. Okay. So we have one of two things. I've got the copyright and the chamomile. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Okay, we're not going we're not going in there. Mm -mm. Oh, but I probably have to go in there, don't I? Like I undoubtedly have to. Well now I don't want to go into that one either. What's behind door number three? Why is it telling me about enemies? Why is it doing that? I don't like that. If an enemy is near state of sight and hide in the darkness, you know that whenever games tell you something, it's because it's relevant. Oh my gosh, I don't like this game. Alright, so, I'm not gonna lie, I probably will never play this game again. Um, on my channel, you are 
witnessing the one and only. Hey, symbol. I gotta stand in the light though. Cool, so that's why I was telling me that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not playing this game again. Head is pounding. My sanity is taking a beating from this, like, um, and Daniel's not doing good either. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Can I climb up there? No, it's definitely not meant to be. Hey, there's a thing up there. Oh, like this. Oh, there's one down there. They're everywhere. And it's so dark in some of these places. Okay, that one is the orb mint. So I only need one more. Capri, calamine, orb mint. And the aqua. That door got open. Aqua regia? Aqua fortis? You guys know where I have to go. I have to go through that darn door that I didn't want to go in. The one that, like, people were pounding on? I don't think those men made it out. I don't like that. What's happening? Oh, feels I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> um, yeah, it sounded like a weird combination of alien in this game. So this is from someone named Wilhelm. They wrote their last will and testament here, I guess. It was like the Wilhelm from that little soundbite thing. And um, I invited them and the men down to the wine cellar. So is there something, something was in their wine? Yucky. Alright, so I have everything, all four things, which means I believe that I need to get back. That was the things I needed, right? Where, how do I, where, where, where would it be the chemical? No, 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 no. The only Calamine, Orpiment, Caprite, Aqua Regia. And what do I have? Cal Cal Calamine, Caprite, Regia, and Orpiment. Okay, so now I go back to the. After and during three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Alright, going back to London. I need to go. Oh, not again, not again, not again. I don't like that. It became impossible to avoid the commotion in the streets back for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers should open fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silent and hazy. All the Are these all just like excerpts from. From Daniel's life prior to the events of this game? I'm not really sure. I feel like it's bright enough in here that I don't. I don't think I. I don't think I lit that, is what I was going to say. Are these spider webs? They kind of look uh, spider webby. So, I'm now going to do some sort of alchemy stuff. Um, over here, right? Okay, I can light this. Alright, so let's, uh, I t 
okay, can I just go like this? Oh, I did it in the wrong spot, apparently. And or front. The structural integrity of this place seems to be crumbling, and then I think light it, and then maybe like, whoops. <laughs> I'm trying to do circular motion, I'm trying. And then, quick, put the pot. No object to use on? What? Wait, what? Did I do this wrong? One, two, three, four. There we go, it's weird. Pot of acid. So, is that genuinely how you make acid? Oh, I missed that before. More oil, much needed oil. And then I think we're meant to just go put that on the, uh, on the disgusting stuff? What the heck happened here? What on earth? I mean, I knew I heard stuff happening, but some rocks hit it or something? I think I can probably just like prop this up. That was easy. I, I know I'm lighting these, and they're getting- the torches are getting blown out. Oh, is it gonna do that thing again? When I, uh, when I load in and all the, the stuff, the gushes, the stuff comes in and it's like, Pah! I guess it's- yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't make the most beautiful faces. So beautiful. Okay, but here's my question. I'm fairly certain that what they want you to do is they want you to take that down to that area because there's a hallway and you need to progress through the hallway. But what I want to know is, can I do that on that door and get out? Because I'd rather leave. I don't want to be here and I don't want to be involved in this, in this Alexander Daniel beef, even though I am Daniel. you can't. Whatever. Fine. Here we go, down this creepy hallway filled with alien gunk. Just what I wanted to do. It's just as gross as I remember. dissolving. The refinery. He sat down by the gas bottle wall, gasping for air, sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand veiled ground. I loathe how dark it is here. Yes, it is. And I, it's making me move like so much slower. I do wish. Thank you. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. You didn't answer the question. Why is it so dark? Be careful when enemies are near. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. <laughs> no. And I can't keep moving. I'm wasting my oil. And I know the game wants you to go this way. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh dear. If I recall correctly, this is the point 
this is the point when the monster is properly following you. Like up until this point, hey Laudanum, up until this point, it's not actually there. Like you just see it in like these little clips that they can't hurt you. But now, monster guy is present. Okay, it's been more than a month since my last entry. I haven't been paying attention to the date, so I have no idea. After the events of the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he what? Oh, I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought from Africa. Ah, oh, the orb is back. That blue thing they tried to assemble it, but the pieces wouldn't fit together as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Who opened that? Who opened the snore? Oh, I absolutely despise the way that moves, and that's blocked. No, that's back where the guy is. Uh uh. Looks like I could crawl through there. Alright, I'm gonna crawl through there. Excuse me? Why does it do that? Is it just like my sanity? How is my sanity? Not good. Oh, and my health, I have a few cuts and bruises. So I think that that means that I- can I open this? No. Oh, I got some oil though, that's awesome. I actually have quite a bit of oil, so I'm gonna- well, I'll light that actually. I almost have more oil than I have of thingy machigis. So I think I need to- hmm, I think I've got to move that. Probably can stand on one of these boxes. I feel quite safe here because I don't think the monster could get in. Excuse me? Oh, okay. That was it. Um, but come on, there's got to be uh -huh, a tinderbox. Something else, maybe. There's something back here, I just know it. Oh, it's you. <laughs> a two. What a lucky girl I am. Alright, let's do this thing. I don't like the way... Which way do I go? I don't like the fact that those barrels have been propped up against it like that. Like, uh, as if to keep something out. <laughs> am I going the right way? Do I have to do this? It looks... Absolutely dreadful down here. But there's lanterns here. Just kind of weird. Cellar archives. Oh my gosh. You crouch at the surface of the dark Atlantic water. What is happening in these little text blurbs? I don't understand excuse me excuse me oh something tells me get out of the water my intuitions were correct so we have a feeling that that is going to attack me like a bunch of little bunch of little piranhas, like the second I touch the water. Oh, but I'm going to have to touch the water, because I can't... Oh, man. I wonder if it'll go away. I'm, I'm gonna have to run through the water. Gosh, here I go. I'm gonna build up some courage. Didn't get me. Oh, I shouldn't taunt it, should I? I shouldn't taunt it. Because it's gonna be like, 
this is this is really truly cruel for people like me. I'm truly very very bad at um oh I don't like that side. I'm so bad at platformers, you know, stuff like that. Um things where you have to jump and run and jump. I'm just not good at it. I just don't have the training. I don't play games like that often. I don't really play platformers. Um, and it's bad enough if I was trying to play like a Mario platformer. It's much worse when I know, hey, there's a little, there's a little cripply alien guy waiting in the water for you. And he's gonna eat you up if you touch the water. Like, yeah, just add some pressure. That's what I needed. Okay, sorry. I've got to do this. I'm pretty sure if I remember. It's timed, and I have to... Run, 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 run. I don't know what was in that. There was probably stuff in there. I'm not bothering. I'm not bothering with this stuff. Every time I touch the water, I freak out. Get out of the water! Get out of the water! I just need to breathe for a second. I just... I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. It doesn't help that this room is really dark. It's actually day. It's not night, but I have this very big um, curtain over my window. It's blocking all my natural light. Uh, so it's very dark in here. I have to. I had to put up my my ring light to light my face. I don't like what's on this barrel with me. It's icky. It's so gross. But my thought: what is hanging from the ceiling? This game is gross. The older I get, the less I like stuff like this. <laughs> I'm turning more and more into a, a preschool teacher, and I'm not even a preschool teacher anymore. So there's another one around here, clearly. I think... I can probably distract it. Go! It turned yellow, that's weird. Did you see that? It was yellow. Oh, that's just disgusting. Hey! Run, 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 run! Running through the water, it's gross. Hope you don't have any open cuts, cause this water is not sanitary. And it's back, it finished its snack, and now it wants to make a snack of me. Atticus has woken up. I just heard him do a little meow. Thank goodness this isn't like a really tense time. I mean, this is still kind of tense, but he's... Oh my gosh, Atticus, you have not picked a great time. Atticus. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I just... I just need to take a second. That was so stressful. The timing of that, knowing I was running out of time for that thing to eat, simultaneously my cat is meowing at me. Hey, Atticus, come here. Hold on. Hey, everyone. It's me, Atticus the Catechus, and I was mad because I woke up from my nap there was no one there to pet me. All right, you ready to do some Atticus ASMR? Let's, let's bring back something calm and relaxing to this very, very scary game. Why don't you purr for everyone, Addy? I'm making purr. Are you purring? Atticus, can you purr on command? Go to the vet a couple of hours.
hours ago I've had to wait to film this till we got back um, and he has to take a sedative before we go to the vet because he gets really stressed out so he's all nice and sleepy right now <laughs> sleepy alright bye let mommy finish the stairs a sedative, but he just like dashed out of my room. Alright. Let's suit up and finish this. I'm only gonna play for like two more minutes. I just wanna play for like an hour. Just to say I did it. I'm good. I'm proud of myself. I can stop room and if you managed to Atticus is still me I like oh there's something here what is that hollow needle what is that okay I take it that's something that I needed I'm still gonna jump on the boxes just because I'm too scared to do otherwise, but I don't see any stuff. I think I'm okay. What? This door is locked? Are you kidding me? But it says it's locked with a simple lock. When I touched the water, that thing started destroying the door. I don't like this. This needle has to be... Oh, can I open it with that? Thank God. Get me out of here. That feels relevant. Is that... Is that all this down there? I mean, that's the ocean. Are you freaking kidding me? From water to more water? Something just went under the water. What is happening? Why is this music playing? Bro, what on earth? Just let me jump on the storm barrel. just just get to a safe spot but there's nothing I can pick up and that I don't see an enemy gross that's disgusting don't 
do that. Stop doing that. Listen, I hear it. I hear when I turn certain directions, but I don't see it, so I don't understand what's going on. I think I'm just being chased by something, and I think I just... I think you just have to, like, keep moving, keep running or something. I don't really understand. I think the point of it is just... is just run. I don't know. This freaking game, man. I just got an achievement for that escape artist. This is further than... a lot further than I got yesterday. I actually died yesterday. I got caught by the, the little gribbly water guys. Alright, finally, we're in a, a somewhat safe area where I can say goodbye to you guys. Uh, if you like. It's actually quite nice here. I lied. Nope, take it back. Also, hate whatever that creepy baby head fountain is. Um... I'm just gonna go back down here. This was the nicest part. The music's quite calm. The music's quite quite relaxing. This could be an Elder Scrolls game right here. <laughs> we'll face that. Although backwards is not good. Anyway, um, this has been Amnesia ASMR. Makes it sound like ASMR for people who have amnesia. Amnesia: The Dark Descent ASMR probably the first and only one I'll ever make because I need at least a year to recover from those. So despite the spooky nature of the game and the not so pleasant sound effects which I will have turned down a lot in my scared faces, I hope you managed to actually find this maybe somewhat relaxing and at least find it entertaining. Who doesn't enjoy watching someone get scared? tried my best to not look scared, but we all knew I failed, particularly in that last bit where all hell broke loose. Uh, that was, it was really fun. I did have a good time. If you like this, I do have videos playing other scary games. I've got Alien Isolation, Outlast, more Alien Isolation, and Phasmophobia. I think those are the only ones actually scary. You can all find them in my Spooky Saturdays playlist, which this will be added to, but there's also a link in the description for more spooky ones, and if you hang around to the very, very end of the video, I'll put up one of my, my, my Phasmo video from last year. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, um, stay tuned every Saturday this month, there's gonna be another fun video, it might not all be gameplay, I might be reading you some scary stories. I am. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you then. And during the week for regular fun, relaxing content that's not scary but may still have a Halloween fun theme. Alright, so stay safe, uh, turn all the lights on, and, <laughs> you know, don't think about monsters. Get lots of rest, drink lots of water, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in my next video. That won't be like this. It won't be scary. Okay. Love you guys a lot. Bye-bye.